Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today we're gonna be going to Glenstone Museum, which is located in Potomac, Maryland, which happens to be the richest city in Maryland. Uh, I looked up some facts. Apparently the average median income in this city is over 250,000, and the average house price is over 1 million. Glenstone is apparently owned by Mitch Rails, which depending on where you look, he's the richest person in Maryland. He has a net worth of anywhere from six to eight billion dollars, and it's a privately owned museum. I emailed them earlier this week uh, to see if I was allowed to film, and they told me there was no filming inside the museum, no photographs inside the museum, and that I was allowed to take a small camera. Unfortunately, my camera is not small by any means. So what I did bring was my Sony ZV-1, just in case they don't let me go inside with my larger camera, but we'll see. So you guys come along and we'll see what it's all about. So this place is definitely a lot bigger than I had originally anticipated. The distance between the exhibitions are pretty good. It's about maybe I would say what half mile between each building and each exhibition. That's a cool word. But anyways, we're about to go inside so we're not going to be able to film this. But hopefully I can give you guys an idea of what's in there and whether or not this experience has been worth it. How is it? It's delicious. What'd you get? It's a uh, black bean chili. And it has sweet potatoes and peppers and black beans. Mm. I like Glenstone. I thought that the, the buildings were really beautiful. Um, really enjoyed walking around the grounds. It was so beautiful out there, but very cold and very windy. <laughs> um, and, you know, the art was really impressive, but I don't think that I'm really a modern art kind of girl. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't always resonate with modern art, so sometimes when I see it, I feel a little underwhelmed. But other than that, though, it was a beautiful facility. I enjoyed my time. You know, I thought it was pretty cool. We got there, uh, we walked into the first building, which is like a uh, visitor center. We were greeted by a guide, I believe it was. She just kind of told us about the place. She told us what path to take, and then we got a little map. Followed the map, they have a lot of outside like exhibits, which I thought were pretty cool, especially the one that looks like uh, the little thing you like ride at the park when you're a little kid. That was pretty cool. Um, the buildings, the insides, they were pr pretty nice. They were like spacious. Uh, each room that had exhibits only had like four or five pictures or four or five sculptures in it and plenty of space around it. Uh, my favorite part of the whole thing, I think was the center of the one of the buildings, which was just like water surrounded by like I don't even know plants and stuff but that was pretty cool to see I definitely recommend going if you have a chance to get tickets tickets go on sale I don't know exactly when but it's like one day a month and then you have to book it out like three months in advance because today's February 19th and I got these tickets back in either December or November so I definitely recommend going when it's warm out because as we were leaving it started getting cold and yeah, it was not good, but we got out of there alive and in time, so 
That's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next video.